What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Mom and Son Show. I'm the mom. And I'm the son, and today we're going to be talking about how many times Disney World has officially closed down because of natural disasters. Or unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, let's see. But before we do that, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we are back. It's we been a while are back. It's again. been two episodes, technical difficulties. And we still might have some, so bear who, with us. Who knows? Bear with us. But we're back stronger than ever. Uh, and we're just going to jump right into it because we know you are here to find out what the issues are and or why Disney World has closed. But before we do that, because we missed Thursday's episode, let's go ahead and just say. Imagine that. What's shut down this week? Oh, Splash Mountain. <laughs> slash Tiana's Bayou late 2024. But one thing with Blizzard Beach, yes, it is closed down. And I didn't realize this is how stupid I am. It was closed down from January to November of last year to get rethemed to Frozen. So Ice it's really Lagoon cool. Was. No, Blizzard Beach was. Oh. Blizzard Beach. So it's all a Frozen theme. So it's really, it looks really cute. Oh. So anyway, keep cool. going. All right. We're done. Moving on. That's it. Now, why is Disney World closed? Because we did this episode in path of Adelia, Adelia. or whatever yep, that hurricane's Adelia. name was. And uh, because we had technical difficulties, we weren't able to post it. Yeah. So we're going to show you why or when. Uh, yeah, because it got us thinking. How many times did it actually close? Because I was thinking, eh, it's just a few times. Yeah. I think and it'll be a surprise. Disney's money hungry, so they always want to stay open. But let's jump into it. The first time. Hurricane Floyd, September 14th to the 15th in 1999. Didn't even come close. Nope. Then we had. Next one. Uh, this was a sad one. Obviously, the this terrorist one was a attacks. tough one. Yeah. yeah. So after 30 minutes, at first they thought it was just a plane accident that hit the tower. Then when the second plane hit it, then um, they started making the announcements to all the cast members that the parks were closed. Cast members were basically saying, we need to go because of unforeseen circumstances. But obviously, people on their phones were trying and to... And people they, found out. They, so they found understood. Out. They found out. Yep. Whoa. Then in 2004, we had three hurricanes. The pretty trifecta. Much, Six pretty, weeks. pretty, if you can see the cross pattern down to the bottom right, I mean, it was pretty much spot on. A little bit south of Kissimmee, but uh, for two days, two days, and then one day in... Um, and, those three. Right. And some of these days, like September 4th to 5th, they could have closed like at three o'clock in the afternoon and opened up by 11 the next. Right. So it's not two complete days, but they were shut down for some time. Yep. Yeah. And then moving on in 2005, we had Hurricane Wilma, which was not even close to Orlando, but we know the destruction down in Naples yeah. that that had. Yeah. Uh, that was wild. And they closed down on October 24th yep. for that day. Yep. And then Hurricane Matthew, again, not a direct hit, just on the coast. But as anyone knows who's familiar with hurricanes, those winds and tropical storm effects and flooding can yeah. be horrible. And just a gust. And then on the right side, in September of 2017, Hurricane Irma, which pretty much devastated Florida mm -hmm. itself, went up the whole the whole state yeah. as well. Yep. And then Hurricane Dorian, 2019, September 3rd. So another one that just skirted Orlando, the Orlando area. Yep. And then, of course, the longest closure ever. 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 And involving all of the parks, not yes. just Disney World. March 15th to July 11th, 2020. And that's a time that I don't think any of us will forget. Yes. Lots of changes happening. Face coverings, temperature checks. Don't ever want to have to go wild. back to that just again. Wild. Although it was nice having the empty parks. <laughs> yes, that was very nice. And then just recently, Hurricane Ian. Yeah, right after school started. That, yeah. The, yeah. And I don't think that picture, <laughs> that picture is an old picture. It actually came way farther south than yeah. that and destroyed yeah. Fort Myers and everything. Yeah. Actually, Fort Myers, I just found out this morning, has $1.1 billion to spend. Yes. From right. Hurricane Ian funds. Mm -hmm. so, so they can start, well, but they have started building. Yeah. Unfortunately, some of the ones that started building, you'll see were affected with Adelia. Yeah. So it's kind of sad. And then uh, right after that, believe it or not, uh, we had uh, Tropical Storm Nicole, which also came in, uh, but they were just closed for a day there. Mm -hmm. And then the most recent one, Hurricane Adelia, August 31st. Um, again, it was much further north 
but out of caution, they had to make sure that their um, guests and their staff members were um, safe. Makes sense. You we're always got to be on the caution. We're safe. Unlike yeah. Collier County schools that are still at school. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Uh, so if anyone in Florida and actually anywhere around the United States, in Florida, we don't play Where's Waldo, we play where, Where's Jim Cantori. Because that is where you know the storms are going to be, whether they are true or not. If Jim shows up, you know you better leave. It's wild. So uh, we ask you now, did you think Disney World shut down that many times? And yeah, and like mom was saying, sometimes it was only four, like they shut down at four o'clock and then they opened up in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes they would actually open up another park because mm -hmm. maybe another park was, uh, this is full closures mm -hmm. on all the parks, not just one. Because some parks right. were shut down because they either had rides broken mm -hmm. or they just weren't ready to reopen or staffing issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this mm -hmm. was not individual parks. Right. This was the whole, right. all four had to be shut down at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, I just found out that Sunday night, Frontierland shut down. And Frontierland shut down. And Walt Disney World. Because of their saying it was a sewage rupture. But, Whoa. But I think it's back up and running because I didn't say any of the rides closed. Yeah, that's crazy. So hopefully. All so, right. Well, Mom, let's go ahead and hear the Mom joke of the Tuesday. So most schools, I guess, are back in session now. We've been back for a while, but some just started. Yes. Um, so in honor of them, what did the custodian say when he came out of the closet? And it's not what you think. Uh, we don't do coming out of the closet. Yes, we Mom. do. Mom, this is a PG. What did the custodian say as he came out of the closet? Supplies. <laughs> you chuckled. You chuckled on that one. You did. I saw you. Why was a custodian in the closet? Getting supplies. All right, guys, that's all the time we have. I'm the mom. And I'm the son, and this is the Mom and Son Show.